from bizarre armadillo crocs to monsters growing some 60 feet long. Here are 15 of the largest and weirdest prehistoric crocs and gators. 15. Euthecodon. These were large, long-snouted crocodilians that were commonly found in lakes and rivers of Africa through the early Pleistocene. Large numbers of its fossils have been found in Kenya especially. Judging from the formation of its teeth, this animal would have survived on a diet primarily composed of fish. A one especially large specimen was located on the west side of Lake Tacana in Kenya in 1992. An analysis of the fully articulated skull and mandible revealed it was around 4 million years old. 14. Erariptesicus. Fossils of this creature were located in Brazil in 1959. They revealed an early crocodilian that lived during the Cretaceous period and was, by all accounts, small, less than six feet long. They weighed only about 90 pounds, possibly less. However, they were not weaklings. With long, strong legs and a robust build, they could have proved especially dangerous to smaller dinosaurs that prowled the riverbeds. By some accounts, the animal could pass for a crocodilian that was in the middle of morphing into a theropod dinosaur. 13. Angisterinus. Its name translates to narrow snout or hook snout. You can take your pick. This creature lived during the late Triassic in what is now Wyoming and Texas in the U.S. and it's technically a phytosaur. Those were long-snouted semi-aquatic creatures with heavy armor that bore a strong resemblance to present-day crocodiles in terms of their size, appearance, and demeanor. These were big beasts and the fact that one species was named A. megalodon is no accident. Like that huge prehistoric shark, this was a huge animal by any standard. 12. Rebosicus. This extinct genus existed in South America from Argentina to the Peruvian Amazon until about the late Pleistocene. One recently discovered species had an estimated length exceeding 33 feet and weighed more than 3,800 pounds. It was a slender snouted crocodilian that would be distantly related to the modern day gharial. Given its great size, experts say this may have been the largest of its kind that ever existed. 11. Stomatosicus. Its name translates as weaponless mouth crocodile, and it was a crocodile-like creature that existed in Egypt during the late Cretaceous. Not so much is known about this unusual creature, because the only known specimen was a large skull that was housed in the Munich Museum and that was destroyed during an Allied bombing raid in 1944. But experts say it would have been something of an unusual beast. It had a flattened skull with a flat snout which held small conical teeth. It's possible that its jaw supported a throat pouch similar to that of a pelican. 10. Morosicus. This extinct giant crocodilian was located in present-day South America some 8 million years ago during the Miocene. And during that time, it coexisted with many others of its sort, including Ramphosicus. It was one of the largest such creatures, measuring up to 12 meters long, or more than 39 feet. Despite its great size, experts say it had weak jaws, with small teeth given its size. And taking that into account, it's thought that the animal was not built to take down active prey. It's more likely that it was a filter feeder, not unlike a baleen whale. A strange physical trait is the creature's duck-like skull, which is broad, flat, and elongated. Now that aspect, along with its fragile jaw construction, convinced researchers that this animal could not have been an apex predator. 9. Armadillosicus. Now here's a creature that sounds like the result of a forbidden cross-breeding experiment. Now its name aside, this is considered to be a crocodile-like reptile, and its name in fact means armadillo crocodile. That's due to the thick banded armor along its back that resembles an armadillo. Whether or not it could roll up into an armored ball still has not been determined though. Its fossils were found in Brazil where it existed during the late Cretaceous. 8. Shield Croc. Aegisuchus translates to shield crocodile, which is where it gets a nickname that sounds kind of like a Marvel Comics character. The name is actually a direct reference to the animal's skull, which was shaped similar to that of a shield. Only a partial brain case and skull roof have been obtained, so there's still a lot to discover about this particular critter. However, researchers say that, based upon the ratio of brain case to skull length of other crocodilians, this animal size has been estimated at up to 72 feet long. It was likely an opportunistic predator, 
and tended to target land vertebrates like reptiles. The shield croc roamed what is now present-day Morocco during the late Cretaceous epoch, that's some 95 million years ago. 7. Borosuchus This is one of the smaller creatures on a list, but what it lacked for in its size, it made up for in aggressiveness. This early crocodilian was characterized by its long legs and heavy skull. The terrestrial predator existed in Brazil during the late Cretaceous, around 83 million years ago. Experts say this animal would have weighed around 176 pounds and measured about 13 feet long. And some sources indicate that the animal could have been heavier than that though. But even so, it might sound like kind of a lightweight. However, this critter also had serrated blade-like teeth and a jaw that could close quickly and exert a powerful bite force. 6. Carnivix Now when we first encountered that name, some of us thought it sounded kind of like a prehistoric version of Carfax. But this animal was around a long time earlier, around 230 million years ago during the late Triassic. Its name actually means butcher, and its fossils were discovered in North Carolina in the US. This creature would have weighed around 500 pounds and measured close to 10 feet long and about five feet tall. But experts say it may have had the potential to grow even larger. Some of its distinguishing physical traits include short forelimbs and the ability to walk on its hind legs. Chances are it fed on mammals and other reptiles, and it may have been one of the largest ever crocodilomorphs. And those are animals that belong to a clade, which includes crocodilians and their extinct relatives. Five, Dinosuchus. Larger specimens of this monster could exceed weights of nine tons while measuring more than 35 feet long. It lived around 73 million years ago during the late Cretaceous, and it would have resembled the modern day alligator. In fact, even though its name translates as terrible crocodile, this is actually an extinct genus of alligator. Of course, it was far bigger than any extant gator, or croc for that matter. This was an apex predator that was capable of taking down and eating a dinosaur if the need arose. Experts say it mostly fed on fish, sea turtles, and other aquatic or terrestrial morsels. 4. Purosaurus Until around 8 million years ago during the Miocene, you would have found this enormous critter prowling about South America. Not that it would be easy to miss. Its fossils indicate that the largest specimens would have measured upwards of 40 feet and weighed more than nine tons. That makes this extinct genus of caiman among the largest of crocodilians that ever existed. Three, Rumphosicus. Now for a time, many paleontologists considered this critter to be the largest crocodilian that ever lived, with an estimated length of nearly 59 feet. A further study concluded that it was not the largest such specimen, and its estimated length was revised downward to around 36 feet, or 11 meters, although that's nothing exactly to be ashamed of. Did you know that this creature is actually an extinct ancestor of the modern-day false gharial? The critter's jaws do evoke the unique structure of its descendant. Rumphosicus is known mostly from incomplete sets of its fossils, which are mostly comprised of its teeth and skull. Now, this one was found during the Miocene in what is now the Indian subcontinent. Super Croc. Well, you know, we could not leave Sarcosicus Imperator off of a list like this one. By most accounts, this ancient beast is described as the biggest crocodile that ever lived. It dates back some 112 million years ago to the Cretaceous, where it lived in present-day Africa and South America. Weighing nearly 9 tons and measuring close to 40 feet long, it was certainly one of the largest ever crocodile-like reptiles that ever existed, which has earned it the name of Super Croc. Experts think that these animals may have had a diet comprised mostly of fish, but as they grew larger, they may have feasted on dinosaurs as well. Not that they actively hunted dinosaurs, but if faced with battling over limited food sources, a fully grown super croc would have been powerful enough to break the neck of a Spinosaurus. 1. Ornithosicus It wasn't so large, but it was kind of weird. But that's not why it gets the number one spot here. Its name means bird crocodile which is a good name since crocs and birds are closely related. But did you know that this critter might be the earliest of all crocodilians? While initially thought to be an ancestor to dinosaurs like Allosaurus, experts say it is more closely related to crocs. And not unlike theropod dinosaurs, it could walk on its hind legs, but likely only did so when it was being pursued. Around 13 feet long, this creature had a double row of armor plating on its back and it may have had five toes on each foot.